Hi, today I'm going to show you um, a kind of a trick uh, which I've, I've been using lately with, with my, my students as a, a way of um, finding the chords in any key. Now this is brilliant, I think. This is it's different to how I used to teach this and I just sort of found this new way to do it. Um, and this is a, a real kind of revelation for me anyway. It's a good way to explain it to people and it's good, hopefully it was a good way for you to uh, understand what chords are in each key. So what we need to be able to do is just an L shape on the thickest two strings. So what I mean by that is if I start here, for example, fifth fret on the E string, uh, then I'll move down to the next string, same fret, and then move along two frets on the same string. So that's what I mean by an L shape. Hopefully that, that makes sense, but that's an L shape. So across to the next string, long two frets on the same string. So we've got three notes. Now, uh, that that's obviously easy to do, but that, that's the shape we're going to be using for this. Now every key, if I just talk about major keys to begin with, every major key has got three major chords, three minor chords, and one diminished chord. Now I'm just talking about what I call basic chords, so we're not looking at extended chords which are sevenths and ninths and thirteenths and things. I'm just talking about the basic chords. So there's three majors, three minors, and one diminished in every key. And using this L shape, what we can do is let's say we want to know the chords in the key of A major. So we go to A on the E string, which is there at fifth fret. Now the three major chords in the key of A are found here. So that note's A, whistling. This one down here is a D, and the long two is an E. Now, hopefully you know how to work out these notes or you know the names of them already. Even if you don't, you can still use this to find the chords of the key, but you just wouldn't know what they were called. But you can still play them. So, but I recommend learning the notes if, if you don't, on these two strings, learn them if you don't already know them. Yeah, so we've got A, D, and E. Those are the three major chords in the key of A. So I, I can play them here as bar chords. A major, D major, E major. But they don't have to be there. I could play them on a piano or another instrument. It doesn't have to be played like that. It's just a way of finding them. So I could play them down here. A, D, E. But it's just clearer here, so you can sort of see it's this L-shaped thing. So they're the three major chords in the key of A. So remember I said there were in every key there's three majors, three minors and one diminished. So to find the minors, we go back three frets from the A. One, two, three. So back down the next. And then do the L-shape again. And where those notes are, that's an F sharp, that's a B, that's a C sharp. Those are the three minor chords. So if I stick with bar chords, that would be this, F sharp minor, B minor, C sharp minor. Still in the key of A. So I've got three major chords, A, D, E, three minors, F sharp, B, C sharp. And then the diminished, which is the one that's used the least, you may find you just don't want to bother with this one. So skip forward this bit. Uh, but if you do want to know where the diminished is, what we do is we turn the minor L shape into a box by, or a rectangle by just coming up to this note. So we've got the L shape and then you just turn it into a, a rectangle. So that note there, which happens to be a G sharp, that's the diminished chord. Now, diminished is a bit of a weird one, not used very much, but it's handy to know about it. So just to quickly recap, in the key of A, we go to the A, L shape, major chords, down three frets, another L shape, minors, and turn that into a, a rectangle rather than an L. I go in there, that's the diminished. So what we've ended up with is A major, D major, E major, F sharp minor, B minor, C sharp minor, and G sharp diminished. 
Now this will work in any key. All you have to know is where to start along here for your, your root note for the key. So let's say we're in the key of uh, D major. Okay, so find D along here, which is 10th fret. Now some of these are gonna be awkward to play this high up, especially on acoustic, but that doesn't matter. I'm just using it as a way of finding the chords. Even if I can't physically play some of them up this high, it doesn't matter. I just need to find what they are, as long as I know the names. So there's D. So the L shape. There's the majors. D, G, A. But obviously I'm not really gonna be playing an A like that. That's a bit awkward. So I'll probably play it lower down somewhere. I know other A's. But this is my way of finding what that chord is. So D, G, A. They're the majors in the key of D. So every major key, remember, it's three majors, three minors, and one diminished. So I'll go back three frets, one, two, three, to the L shape there. B, E, F sharp, play minors. And again, I could play them in other places, B minor, E minor, F sharp minor. Doesn't matter where you play them once you've found them. And then complete the, the L shape, turn it into a rectangle or a box which gives you this C sharp note, that would be the diminished. So I could do it there, or there. Doesn't really matter, anyway you can play a, a C sharp diminished chord. As long as it's C sharp diminished, it's going to be the right chord for the key. Right, so you might be thinking, well, that's great, got major keys covered, but what about minor keys? Because major keys, that's only half of all the keys. So for minor keys, it's really easy. If you know how to do the major key, it's really easy to then work out the minor ones. There's, there's different ways, but I'll just show you the, the quickest way. So what we need to do, let's say we want the, the chords in the key of A minor rather than A major. So we find A again, which was fifth fret on the E string. Do the L shape thing again. So it's A, D and E. But this time they're the minors of the key. So we're in the key of A minor. Minor keys also have three minors, three majors and a diminished. Um, there's a little twist to minor keys that sometimes happens uh, where one of the chords is changed, but I'll, I'll deal with that in a separate video. So for now, just think major and minor keys both have three majors, three minors and one diminished. So there's the A. Play the minors. A, D, E. And again, I could play them down here. Doesn't really matter where you play them. So it's A minor, D minor, E minor. They're the minors in the key of A minor. And then to find the major chords, instead of moving down three frets, you go up three frets. So it's one, two, three to here. That note's a C. And then do the L shape there. And that will give you C, F, and G in this key. So they're the majors in the key of A minor. Again, I play them somewhere else. So I've ended up with A minor, D minor, E minor, C, F, G. And then if I want the diminished, as with the major key, go to the minor L shape and turn it into a rectangle. That's a B, it's gonna be B diminished. So I could play them somewhere else, I could play uh, A minor, D minor, E minor, C, F, G, B diminished. Doesn't matter where you play them, and as I've said, the diminished is not used that much, so you don't need to worry too much about that one. I might do another lesson just on diminished chords. So that works for major keys and minor keys. You just have to remember to go back down the neck that way if you're in a major key and you're finding the minor chords. And then if you're in a minor key, you're starting here, you've got to go that way to then find the major chords. Now, just a, a little extra thing you might have spotted with this. This means that the example I did was the key of A major and then I did the key of A minor. So when I did the A minor key, I had the minors there and the diminished and then the majors here. 
Well, if I was in C major, which is here, if I was doing the key of C major, I'd end up with the same seven chords that I did for A minor. Uh, and that's not a coincidence, that is how it works. Every major key has a minor key that's got the same chords in it, and they're called relative keys. So A minor is the relative minor of C major. C major is the relative major of A minor. And you can see that from this, that they've got all of the same chords in them. So C major, I'd have worked out like this. L shape at C. Move down three, one, two, three, minors. Then the diminished. So I'd have found those seven chords, but in the key of A minor, fifth fret. Minors. Up three, one, two, three, majors. And then the diminished was completing the, the shape, the box for the minors. I'm going through this bit quickly to recap, but hopefully that makes sense. So those two keys have got the same chords in, and that applies to any uh, relative keys as well. So wherever you are on the neck, you're going to have two keys with the same chords in, a major one and a minor one. Right, it's a bit confusing all of this probably, so you might want to watch it a couple of times, but uh, if you've got any questions, please put them in the comments. And if you like this lesson, then please click like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Okay, thanks. Thank you.